everybody and welcome back to another vlog. Today, please do excuse me if I sniff every so often. I have not been able to shake this cold very easily. So I still have it. It's been over a week and I'm very over it. But I have reason to be excited because today I have just picked up a dressing table, which I have wanted a dressing table for a very long time. Our youngest one has just recently been moved out of our bedroom. We have our bedroom back to ourselves again. And so I am very much looking forward to setting that up today. Let me show you what it looks like. Ta-da! It is a beautiful Queen Anne style um, dressing table. It does have a mirror with a center and two side panels, which I've just been moved, uh, taken off for transport. And I'll be putting them back together once I've moved this to my bedroom. So I'm using this product called Feast Watson. Well, that's the brand name and it's Surface Restore. Um, it says it's a combination of waxes and oils that restore timber finishes without the need to sand or strip. So the unit behind me is not in very bad condition at all, um, but there are a few bits near the, the legs, the bottom of the legs that are a bit scuffed. And so hopefully it will just lift the appearance and make it look even better. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. Let's see what I need to do. Stir gently before use. Apply with a nylon scouring pad or fine steel wool. Then buff with a soft cloth to the required sheen. Interesting. quiet and so I thought I might um, get all my bits and bobs that are from around the house that I want to put in the dressing table. I've collected it all together on my bed just over there and yep, I'm going to spend some time sorting it into my lovely new dresser. I've just got the one panel um, I've just got the one panel of glass up at the moment. Um, I haven't really put a lot of effort into the mirrors at this point because they do need a fair bit of work. So I'm just going to um, start using the drawers and then when I get the opportunity, I will um, do do up the wood and yeah, just secure it all up. Um, hopefully another day when I'm feeling a bit better. don't have a lot of stuff so that helps well it's all, all comparative I suppose so what I've got is just hair brushes and hair accessories um, and clips and that kind of thing on this in this drawer then I have my 
a hair dryer brush and curling wand here. I have in this drawer perfumes and jewellery. <laughs> a little bit on the empty side, but hey, if this is going to last me many years, there'll be plenty of room Whoop, later on down the track. I think this is going to need a little bit of wax. There we go. Um, and then I've got my makeup on this side. Actually, I've got two sets of makeup, one Jane Aradale and one Nude by Nature. Um, and I am trying to use up some products in order to favor other products. So I won't be replenishing both collections. So this will actually get smaller instead of bigger, I anticipate. Um, and then this straw just has some basic moisturizers. So my favorite hand cream and uh, night cream, my favorite deodorant and just a few uh, moisturizing face masks so well, and here's my homemade deodorant which is moderately effective so I'm still working on the recipe that's why I haven't shared it yet and there we have it and I'll probably try and get like a nice uh, decorative tissue box cover on that um, to go on the top and maybe a few uh, decorative slash practical items to go on the top and yeah. Good morning, it is now Monday and I have just taken these mirror pieces outside to, um, to do the service restore. The reason being because when I did the cabinet um, and I used the surface restorer, it smelled very strongly of mineral turpentine or something along those lines and really stank out the house. So I'm not wanting to do that again so I've taken these outside although it is a much su smaller surface area so it shouldn't stink so bad anyway but um, I was going to tape around the edge so that I wouldn't get any of the liquid onto the mirror but I'm just going to have to be neat because we have no masking tape on hand at all so I'll do my best and let's get cracking and brought the mirrors inside because there was some dust that was settling on the frames and so I had to keep wiping it off and I thought this is just not going to dry well so I've brought it inside despite the smell it's not too bad actually now that it's already applied and um, the lid is closed on the surface restorer so it's not too bad um, but now I need to wait for this to dry for five hours before I can buff it out and make it all shiny um, so in the meantime I am going to try and straighten or make vertical the um, these bits on my dresser so I'm not sure if you can tell here but these are not sitting vertically one more so than the other so I'll just hold a level up for you so you can see just how bad it is okay so that is a long way off level. I'm going to try filing down. I would use a plane if I had one, actually. But, where's the focus? Yeah, so I'm going to try um, planing. You can't really see much, sorry, it's so dark. Um, but yeah, off the inside of this support. Um, and then we'll give it another try. <laughs>
everybody, it's time for an update. I've just been able to go shopping after I think several weeks now um, and I've picked up a few bits for my dressing table. So I've got a small item from David Jones and a bigger item from Target and so I'll take them inside and I can unbox it and show you what I got. See the green very well on the camera to be honest but it is a beautiful sage green and it has a little bit more color than what you can see on the screen it's um it's not as gray as it appears Ta -da! it's a lovely velvet feel just the right height to fit my legs underneath right there so now to show you the other piece that i got from david jones and it is a photo frame. So I've got it in a contrasting colour so that it shows up nicely against the, the dark wood. And so it is rose gold and white. So I think I might try and find a picture of Durham and I to go in this one. And I mean, ideally, I would like to also have found like a little clock or something to, to go here as well. But I couldn't find one that I was happy with. So I'll keep an eye out, um, especially when I'm in secondhand stores and things like that, because I guess you get quite a wide variety and it's not necessarily um, just whatever's in fashion at the time or is um, whatever's going with home decor. You're going to have quite a variety of styles and perhaps even something a little bit more vintage to match the vintage style of the mirror. Um, and Well, the whole unit really. That could be good. So I'll see what I can find. But for now, this is looking lovely. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to update you on. I now have a piece of glass um, on the top of this unit, which is great because then I don't have to worry about um, if I want to put a cup of tea on here while I'm getting ready or my curling iron or something like that which I just want to put on a heat proof surface so that's going to be really good uh, the lady I got it from the lady that I bought it from from Facebook marketplace uh, she contacted me and she said oh and there's this piece of glass which I forgot to give you and so she kindly dropped it off for me and voila um, so I'm very happy about that it fits beautifully and it's you know molded to the same shape as the the top so yeah I'm just going to find a photo, hopefully. I'll just see if I can find a photo to put in here. And then, yeah, I'm a happy lady. This is the photo that I've popped in the frame. So this is one of my favorites from our wedding. This was at the end of the wedding day and we were about to go to dinner with our family. And it was just the last photo that got taken before, um, before the photographer left and yeah, it was a happy memory. Thank you so much for joining me with this project. I really enjoyed seeing it come together and sharing it with you. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up as it helps YouTube to know whether my video is worth promoting or not. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.